Leo had opened a portal to get him and his brother someplace in New York to hang out, but then it got hijacked again and he ended up somewhere he had no clue where he was. Where the hell? He looked up and saw a huge castle in the middle of the woods. It looked rather empty, but a few men hanging around here and there, and it was nighttime. Odd, it was morning when he left. The woods had so many different colors, light up mushrooms, and tall grass in some parts, and the little town more far away from the castle. Pink, greens, and blues, and teals lit the mushrooms, and the paths leading to a window of the castle. Maybe he can find help there. As he made his way up to the path, he could see a young girl about his age at the top of the, at the top, and looking over the town and longing almost, like she wanted to be there instead. He walked up and started to climb up. When he got there, a sword was pointed right where his face was. He jumped a bit and quickly let go, but quickly grabbed back on. Hey, don't do that. Only do that if it's dangerous, he yelled. Who are you? And this is a dangerous thing. I don't know who you are and why you're on my balcony, she yelled. He blinked. And yeah, she was right. He looked at her and she was so beautiful and breathtaking. She had long hair and such gorgeous eyes, and even a lovely skin color, and a cute dress on. Uh, earth to turtle thing, wake up. She waved a hand. You know, you're so gorgeous that my breath has left my body, he said smirking. Excuse me? She tilted her head in confusion. I have never seen a being any more beautiful than you are, princess. He jumped and bowed. Great. Another one. She rolled her eyes. Another what? What I said was true. He smiled. No, you're just another suitor, saying how beautiful I, how I look. And only in it to become king. She waved him off, trying to walk back in. He grabbed her hand. Hey, I wouldn't say something unless it's for real. And I just met you. Damn. Take, talk about going too fast. He laughed playfully as she looked back, eyes wide. So you don't want to marry me? She said, dumbfounded by this. I don't even know your name. He rolled his eyes at the. He rolled his eyes this time. Oh, I suppose you're right. I'm your name. She said, Leo. He shook her hand while smiling, smiling widely. Wow, you're the first man to ever say that and not want to try to marry me the first chance you get. He laughed loudly. Well, you're beautiful and cute to boot, but I'm not that fast. He chuckled like it was the most funniest thing in the world. I can tell you don't want to be here anymore, he said, and her eyes widened again. How did you... I saw you when I walked up here. You did? How did you even get here? I never seen the likes of, you, likes of someone like you before, she said. I opened a portal and got fucking hijacked, so I landed here. He rubbed his neck. Oh, I see. You have the power to universe hop? She said, one, she said, wondering, finger on her chin, and something like that. He wasn't too sure how his powers worked exactly. Well, come on, let's go to the city then. He jumped up. I can't just leave. Why not? Because I'm the princess? Oh, come on, don't you trust me? She sobbed. What did you say? I said, do you trust me? He repeated and held his hand out. She took it. Yes, she said. Then let's go. He jumped with her and they both ported to town. <laughs> Once around the town for a bit and her face lit up so bright and Leo kind of blushed at that fact. It's so beautiful here. I love it. She sighed happily. They had spent hours in the town and came to rest in, in an empty building. She sat down looking over the city and then the castle she lived in. Her face had a smile the whole time. It's even more beautiful from here, she said. Leo held her hand. Not as beautiful as you. She looked back quickly and blushed. He blinked and turned away. Uh, well, <laughs> he chuckled nervously but recovered. But I'm glad I landed here. I got to meet you after all your name. He smiled softly to her. She brushed lightly. I'm happy I met you as well, Leo. She kissed his cheek. He made a goofy grin, hearts flying around, but he soon looked over to the city with her. Don't you have to get home soon? She asked, eyes looking back at him. 
And not for a while. I don't think they'll mind me being gone for a little longer. He rested his arm over her shoulder. I want to spend more time with you, he said. She smiled back. Me too. Me too.